How I keep my chickens cool in the hot summer heat. Good morning, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully everybody's off to a great productive day. On today's video, how I keep my chickens cool in this hot summer heat. So if y'all been following my channel, I cannot free range my chickens because there are several chicken hawks that live around here. And I already lost one of my chickens to a chicken hawk. So this right here is the coop that I have them in. It's an omelet chicken tractor where I can move it around in different spots. But how I keep them cool is real simple. First, fresh water. So I always change the water out daily. So I have one waterer right there, and then I have one right here that I keep inside the um, coop. So let's go ahead and get the water changed. Okay, so the next step I do to keep my chickens cool is I always add ice to their water in the morning. I have an ice maker, so I will fill up a bag of ice and then I will take the bag of ice and dump it into this water feeder right here. So throughout the day, that ice will melt down and it will help keep the water cooler for my chickens. And then I go ahead and place the top back on. Like so. So the next step I do to try to keep them cool is I usually move the chicken tractor. Before avian flu came back, which is known as the bird flu i used to take my chickens back to the back because the shade end up getting there from all these trees but with avian flu going on i don't want my chickens back there because there's a lot of birds that be in this tree and they'll use the bathroom and it'll drop right down along the back side of the fence so i don't want my birds around these wild birds and i definitely don't want their poop landing in my chicken coop around my chickens so what I do is in the morning time, the sun's back there, but in the daytime, you see the shades back here. So sometimes I bring them back here so they'll get the shade. And then if not, I have a quick fix to attach to this coop to give them shade. So as you can see how sun all down here, but after a while, the shade will start going up under the coop. So what I have is this piece of plastic. It's one of my artboards for me doing my custom airbrushing painting. And all I do is take it, place two of them up there, and then that will give them shade back there behind it. And then I just take zip ties and zip tie it on. All right, so you see we have the panels up and you see it has created shade for them back here. And then if it's extra hot, what I have is a battery operated fan. I will either put it in their coop at nighttime and leave the door open so they can get a breeze or I will clamp the fan onto the back of the coop. All right, so y'all can see I got the battery operated fan hooked to the back of the coop. All I did was attach it to one of the tractor wheels and it has a little mister where it will mist out water or you can just cut the power on and it has three different speeds. So as you can see with the panels, it created shade right there. I turn the fan on. So not only do they have shade, 
they have a breeze coming through and then they have the ice water to keep them cool so if y'all found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel i try to drop content at least five days out of the week but as always thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one